Here I have the beans plus the broth, 9 ounces of chorizo, a pinch of salt, and we can't forget our smasher. Going to turn on our stove to medium to low heat. Before we incorporate our chorizo, we have to wait till this heats up. Now that our pot is nice and heated, it's time to incorporate our chorizo. I feel the easiest way to cut through this package is just to make a slit down the middle and just open it up. You hear that sizzle? That's what you always want to hear whenever you incorporate anything into your pot. Always make sure that it's nice and hot. Just a quick little tip. We're going to keep stirring for 5 to 8 minutes. Remember it has to cook well. We are cooking pork. Your chorizo is fully cooked when it starts getting a red dual color. Kind of with a light brown and it starts looking like ground beef. Time for a pinch of salt. Our chorizo is fully cooked so now it's time to incorporate the beans with a little bit of the bean broth. Give it a quick stir. Now it's time to add the lid and let it simmer for 8 to 10 minutes. It's been 5 minutes. I wanted to give it a quick check and give it a good stir and close it back up. It's been 10 minutes. Our beans have come to a boil. The whole house smells like chorizo beans. Now it's time to get smashing. A tip into smashing. I like to go in circular motions around the pot and give it a good twist as I hit the bottom of the pan. It is some arm work, let me tell you that. It does get tiring, but you just have to keep going. Hey everyone, our chorizo beans are finished. This could be served as a side with your torta, tostadas, sopes, burritos. You could eat them like this by themselves with some quesito fresco and some salsa and some tortillas. So delicious. Let's give this a try. Mm. These are so good. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.